Tea Guitar. Today we're doing a request from a patron for uh, Lean On. This was originally written by Major Laser, uh, an EDM group, as well as a Danish singer named Mu. Um, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but hopefully I'm, I'm somewhat in the ballpark. Um, so they co-wrote this and it just turned out to be a massive hit. Um, you know, and the, the actual music video has over 3 billion views. Spotify said it was the most streamed song of all time. I'm not sure if that's still true, but anyway, uh, massive, massive hit. So that goes like this. Right. C major 7 to E minor. And then on the verse. is the arrangement from Kit Conway of the band Stello. It's actually interesting, it was on a Volvo commercial, but... Um... Do you recall, right? So same lyrics, same melody, um, but just in a fingerstyle pattern. And that's, that's really all that's happening on that cover, uh, as opposed to all the electronic sounds on the original. So there'll be both tabs on the Patreon if you want to play the you know the EDM hit or if you want to play the nice finger style cover if you look at the music theory of this both songs are in a minor key um, we have the capo on the third fret and let's start with the original major laser um, we're in the key of E minor with the capo so in a minor key very very common chords would be flat six okay that's a C major they're playing a C major seven on the synthesizers and stuff but uh, C, C major 7, same thing for our Roman numeral analysis. Flat 6, flat 7, 1. Just bread and butter minor key stuff. And then uh, that would be a flat 3 chord. So that's the relative major chord. Alright, so flat 6, flat 7, 1, flat 3. Alright, now when we look at the uh, at the Kit Conway cover, we're in the key of A minor and it starts on the flat six as well. Flat seven, one, flat three. So basically it's the same thing transposed up a fourth. All right. So we can start to wrap our head around some, some common uh, chord progressions in minor by noticing that in the songs we learn. Okay. So uh, check out the tab on the Patreon if you'd like to. Other than that, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the bell icon. And uh, let's jump on it. All right, capo on the third fret for both versions, uh, although we're only covering the finger style version by Kit Conway. So we have an F major seven for the intro. F major seven, we would want first fret, sixth string, second fret, second fret on third and fourth strings, and then, you know, first fret on the uh, second string. You kind of mute the fifth string with your first finger. The first string is open. Okay. Good chord to know. All right, and we're gonna do for this intro here. Uh, okay, so that would be fifth, uh, sixth and second together, and the thumb is gonna do Travis picking. So that's sixth, four, six, four, six, four. Good idea to get that going if you're new to that before you add everything else. So. With that being said, sixth and second string, fourth, third, and then sixth, first, fourth, third. Okay, so so far. And then that's a bar, and then the next bar, sixth, second, fourth, third, sixth, first, fourth, third. So the whole thing would be. quicker all right now for the uh, for the song you recall. it's gonna be uh, actually a hammer onto the second string first fret with the sixth string okay do you recall so that's sixth and second together with the hammer onto the first fret 4th, 3rd, 
six, first, fourth. Now we have a G6, and the, the picking pattern kind of repeats here. So six and second. Everything's the same, actually, on the right hand. It's just a, a G6, so no third fret, first string. So that would be six and second, fourth, third, six, first, fourth, third. Okay, so from here. Do you recall how long ago? A minor. This time, everything's the same except we're moving the thumb to the fifth string. So fifth and fourth, as far as the Travis picking. So that's fifth and second, fourth, third, fifth, first, fourth, third. C major seven, so C without the second fret first string. Same pattern as before. Okay, that's the first half. The second half of the verse is exactly the same except for one small change. That would be, instead of the C major 7, we're going to G, so. All this is the same, but now we go to G. And this time it's not a G6, so we do want the 3rd fret 1st string. So we go 6 and 2nd, 4th, 3rd, 6th, 1st, 4th, 3rd. And then back to the F major 7. Now after the first couple of times, uh, they stop hammering on to the 1st fret 2nd string, so then it's just... And then another thing that happens is, they don't go to the 1st string opened every, every time, so sometimes it's just... You know, there's a certain flexibility you want to have when you're doing an arrangement because uh, a good a good songwriter, a good a good arranger, whatever, will kind of do things a little differently each time, many times, just to give give a little variety. Just like a drummer might do something a little bit differently every four to eight bars. So that's kind of what's happening here. Sometimes they're they're playing the first string open, sometimes the second string twice. And then uh, at the end of the verse, it stops on the A minor, so then it's... You just pinch the, the fifth and second string. And then fifth fret first string comes in on beat three and holds three times. And then into the chorus. The chorus is exactly the same as the verse. Blow a kiss, fire a gun, we all need someone to lean on. Blow a kiss, fire a gun. G, right, just like before. Okay, the only thing left is the piano riff. So by itself, that would be second string open to first fret, hammer on, second fret, fourth string, and then hammer on to first fret again, this time second fret, third string. So. chords though basically just add the bass underneath you'd want to have first fret six string with a half note pulse one two three four so that would be okay and then pinky I know it's a little annoying but you do that for the G and then a minor I'm just adding the bass F could use the thumb to make it easier on the F. Okay. So that's the song, and, and really that just repeats. Um, it's only 50 seconds on the Volvo commercial, and then it just repeats. Kind of a funny thing to cover a song on a, on a commercial, but uh, it is a very nice sort of guitar arrangement of this huge hit, so that's why we're doing it. Alrighty, so let me know if there's any questions, and enjoy. All right, well done, everybody. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We'll see you next lesson. Bye.